Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I mm. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What's wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This. Coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manners, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lo uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please. Come check out the storage facilities. Go on. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out. No. Super. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me. Uh, I knew we were having visitors. That little spring clean! Or He has always been cool! That's poor!
Potential business partners out of the ice chest. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay.
you're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet hey. one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old! Motherfucker! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we exactly, up, huh? Get up. Ah. Sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun! And this is what I get! or footage, the women, they're, they're always so frumpy. Get too hot, chick. Five chubby, hairy ones, and they wear those terrible old lady dresses that cover up the important bits. On my farm, we have a bunch of women, and they work with nothing but a bikini and a gun belt on. And them's the rules. Jeff is on the phone. Hi, Dwayne. I'm a member of the Ovine Liberation Front. There are some terrible things going on right under our noses. Atrocities on these farms. We've snuck a camera in, and they're going to expose it. Did you know that they're killing animals on some of these farms? And then, they eat them. It's like a zombie movie. It's horrible. Everything should be allowed to live. Just think about a world with the streets full of cows and chickens and velociraptors. It'd be great. You could hunt them. Sounds a bit like Australia. That's pretty much the third world, ain't it? That's precisely. What we want is our own world, a fourth world, where we can snuggle with a chicken or a goat and lay in the air together where nothing dies. Listen up, Jeff. 
you are going to have to understand that the good Lord made natural selection for a reason. It is well known that shark embryos cannibalize their litter mates in the womb, the strongest one eating all the siblings. My mother was pregnant with triplets, but when she went into labor, only one came out, and that was me! I won! That's the way nature works, son! You can't fight nature, but you can wrestle with it at Dwayne Earl's Art. Stop by and tell Tammy that you heard it on this show, and she will give you a commemorative koozie for your beer, so that it will stay cold. That's about all the time we got this week. This has been Beyond Insemination. I'm Dwayne Earl, and you're not. This has been Beyond Look at me, man. I could stop time so my wife looked like she did 20 years ago. Now she's a disgusting pig. Man, I hate middle age. Can stop time with presser bags. At funerals, they always say how wonderful the deceased look. The secret is formaldehyde. It preserves the skin. Presser bags brings the wisdom of the funeral parlor to the beauty parlor. Most beauty products only work skin deep. Presservex works under the skin to replenish aging cells and freeze time once and for all. Presservex, stay beautiful for all of eternity. Why tithe 10% of your income to invisible people? It's just not logical. If you elect me, Jock Cranley, as your governor, it doesn't go to things like water or health care for people that don't deserve it. During my time at the top of the box office, I saw his head was a man can sink. Drugs, multiple women, real sense of entitlement. So I know how to manipulate our economy. I was a real action hero, and using those skills, I can tackle any municipal budget. Listen, I face jumped off skyscrapers. Trust me, I understand the intricacies of city planning. My opponent, Sue Murray, is a know-it-all shrew who actually thinks helping people is the best way to help people. Vote for me, Jock Cranley, Later. and... I'd have to put in some overtime. Hey, buy something to leave, okay? I'll make it up to you, baby. Government is not your friend, friends. And also, even more importantly, for the world. That's want a closer truth. look, huh? The truth about time on a show that is all about truth, whatever the cost. Today on Blaine County Radio Community Hour, I, Ronald Jakowski, you're about to make a wonderful decision. Your consciousness until Excellent you are choice. Conscious. As the universe began with a bang nobody heard, some scientists have recently discovered it is going to end in much the same way. And they are suppressing that fact to avoid panic. I would like to order On today's show, which in case the world has already ended, I want to make clear it is actually a pre-recorded podcast. Diet sodas you are ruined my show. What you should ever? Go. Tienes un problema? Suppressed truths that I've discovered. And also, to shine a light on the liars who keep us ignorant so they can sell us fear when it suits them. See, when that suits them better. That's weird, isn't it? Like sometimes the deep state wants us terrified so it spreads lies that sedate us. Like WM.
the fuck off, man! It's your unlucky day, my friend! Listen next time. Patriots. Ron, there are a lot of mistruths out oh, there. Oh, I know, I know that, I know. Yes. But I wake up every day to expose it. Yes, Ron, and uh, as an American, I thank you for that. Listen, I Ron. know, I know. Okay. No, I wait, don't. Listen, Ron. No, I am listening to you. I am. Ron? Okay, great. Why do, you, no, wait, why do you think I'm not listening to you? I'm right here. Dude, I am Ron, listening. Okay. No, listen. I am. I'm listening. Why do you? I'm listening. Yes, of course. Well, we, much like you, see ourselves as outsiders against the bubble. The government bubble. Bursting the bubble. God, bubbles are for children to chase on a summer day. Or for a woman to spend hours popping those packing bubbles while drinking wine and cursing her newly ex-husband. You know what, Ron? <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. Do you think for one minute that the same people that lied to you about Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny aren't lying to you about climate change, Ron? Um, my parents! Mm -hmm. No! Yes, Mommy and Daddy were lying to you. Jeez. They were buying into the BS. Ron, it's common sense. Climate changes every day. Damn. Hot in the middle of the day, cooler at night. This all balances out. There's nothing to worry about. We don't need to panic, America. It's going to be okay. Mainstream science and the mainstream media are two sides of the same coin, Ron. But you know what? I think the American people are smarter than that. They know when people are lying to them. Yeah, yes. See, scientists are wrong all the time. Yes. Yes, they're the worst. They are. Like, like when they say there's no sound in space, but then you, all of a sudden... Hey, turn your ass around, man! Hey, you! What the fuck at? That motherfucker's trying to rob us! You're going down, puto! Come on! Oye, retirémonos! Move back! Agachate, man! Agachate!
Mano, puta grande, puto. are being used to let the government see what's going on in your house? Mm. It's, it, it's a giant antenna. Mm -hmm. and it, it is literally a giant antenna. Nobody is talking about it. Literally nobody. Well, let's open up the conversation. Let's talk about solar. What a scam, cheap crap, all made in China. We don't make anything here in America, except for hot dogs, video games, and complacency. Wake up. Fundamentally, percent of scientists are big liars, only interested in their own agenda. I know this because I have dated one. And these are bogus studies that they're talking about. The models are unreliable. Oh, yes. You know, I've heard that models are very unreliable because they're vapid idiots on cocaine. No, Ron, that's a different... Co Look, I also read on the internet a conspiracy theory that your group, the American... They're in the pocket of the fossil fuel industry. Uh, no. I heard that. No, 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 no. Listeners, that is not true. As I was saying, 85% of these scientists are on the payroll of China. And they want to shut down our gas stations and shove electric cars down our throats. How are we going to get anywhere? What are we going to do? Ride a, ride a bicycle? A unicycle? I hate that! Mm. I hate bicycles. I've been hit by one, and it is very upsetting. I hate bicycles and tricycles. I hate that almost as much as the bicycle. Thank you. That's another you part of me. our initiative. We did a study and found out that 85% of people that ride bicycles are awful bitch people. They think they own the road. Think about that for a minute. If they get in power, they may pass legislation, so they do own the road. They shave their legs. If there is anything that should have us worried about American energy independence, it's that. Bald-legged men in tight clothes. Oh, it is a hellish vision. Okay, let's hear some of the messages people have left on the Truth Seeker hotline. Big fan of the show. All of the guys on the ward are, well, at least the ones who can speak. <laughs> Listen, I'm a truther. I believe in empirical evidence. Like, who the fuck are they kidding? If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Fuck quarks and scientists. They really sold us a bill of goods. I mean, seriously, they expect us to believe AIDS comes from people having sex with monkeys? Uh... You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? 
Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days, just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. Apologies, I'm still waiting on a new delivery of those. Tell me what you need, Trevor. I do not want to get on the wrong side of you. Non-refundable, I should add. That's you all done. Quiet, but effective. Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. All of you are going to die! Mm.
shit tits! <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Huh. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. I guess I'll have to see you later then. <laughs> 